lead acid, probably the most commonly used batteries even now still, um, just because of cars mainly, but also in energy storage, people are still using lead acid batteries. Uh, there's some other types of batteries. You'll hear flow batteries, um, salt water battery, which no longer, I believe, is in production. And then you have your lithium batteries. So on the left here is the Tesla Powerwall. I'm sure everyone has heard of the Tesla Powerwall. Uh, and your LG Chem. These are cobalt-based batteries. So our battery there in the middle the, is a lithium iron phosphate. So it's a bit different, um, and, and we'll get into that. So, kind of recap, so lead acid batteries tend to have low efficiency rates and a lot of room for error. So when we're talking about sizing a system or designing the system, uh, we need to factor in the efficiency rate. Well, if it's a lead acid battery, it might have around 80 or 85% efficiency, so it's very hard for the system designer to understand the battery bank um, when, it's, when you're looking for such a precise number as a net zero home would have. Um, Lithium ion with cobalt, so your Tesla and your LG, tend to have very short life cycles. Um, they might not last, you know, when you're talking about daily discharge, they're not gonna last as long. Iron phosphate, which is what Simplify uses, um, you'll find high efficiency, 98% efficiency, uh, and a really long cycle. So 10,000 cycles, 10 years, that's actually what is warranted. If you're looking to see what a company is actually going to last as far as the battery, look at the warranty. Don't look at whatever's on the spec sheet. It tends to help. Um, and as well as high power output. So C over 2 charge and discharge. What does that mean? That is charge and discharge over time, 2 being 2 hours. And why this is important for things like net zero is you might have a high demand. So say your air conditioning turns off. Well, you need a battery that can actually handle that air conditioning and not shut the system down, or you might have to supplement from the grid. Most lithium batteries can handle this C over 2 discharge. 